Hello everyone, welcome to MMA Wired. Why does Henry Cejudo believe that UFC should stop pushing Israel Adesanya? Islam Makachev is calling a fight with Michael Chandler as easy money. Will he accept the fight? Who will Bilal Muhammad fight at UFC 281? Is it Sean Brady? Nate Diaz is desperate to end his contract with UFC. When will his last fight be arranged? Stick around till the end and we've got you covered. Don't miss out on our next update. Subscribe and get your hands on the latest stories before the rest. First up, let's look at why Islam Makachev is calling the fight with Michael Chandler as easy money. So Michael Chandler posted on Instagram a story which basically called out Islam Makachev. He stated, Hey Charles, do your thing, bro. Wait till Connor comes back. Do your thing. You know what? You deserve it. On a couple fight win streak, smashing through everybody. Why don't you sit out? Wait for Connor to come back. I'll keep the division warm. I'll keep the division going. I'll fight Islam next. I'll fight Islam next for the title. And then whenever you get your so-called super fight, do your thing, get it out of your system, and you can come back to our division. See you at the top. Islam Makachev is not one to take things lightly, and he accepted the fight tweeting, easy money. Title is the goal, no matter who. Let's go, Michael Chandler. Next up, we will look at who Bilal Muhammad will fight at UFC 281. At present, it seems like Bilal Muhammad and Sean Brady are set to fight at UFC 281 in Abu Dhabi on October 22, 2022. Though the matchup is yet to be made official, the pair will in all likelihood face off at the Etihad Arena on Fight Island. Rumblings of the fight began in June 2022, when Brady accused Muhammad of ducking the matchup, and it seemed then that Bilal was more interested in facing those ranked above him in the division. Bilal Muhammad, who is the number 5 ranked welterweight, is on an 8-fight unbeaten streak. He recently won against Vicente Luque and Stephen Thompson. On the strength of those victories, he stated in recent months that he deserved a title shot against Kamaru Usman. Let's now talk about Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz demanded once again to be let out of his UFC contract. This time around, he put a deadline on his request and suggested what his plans might be if he were to be released. In his latest request through social media, Diaz called upon UFC President Dana White to give him a fight with anyone in July or August or to release him from the organization. He continued by saying he had bigger plans for the future, hinting that he's eyeing a fight with boxer Jake Paul. Nate Diaz tweeted, UFC, release now please, or give me a fight with anyone in July or August. Diaz wrote on Twitter alongside a video of Jake Paul's KO of Tyrone Woodley. I have bigger shit to do. Back in March, Diaz publicly voiced his frustration with UFC, taking to social media to ask Dana White to schedule him for a fight or grant him a release from the promotion. At the time, Nate Diaz reportedly had one fight left on his contract with UFC. However, no fight was ever scheduled. Dana White has not yet addressed the latest request, but has said in the past that he was working on finding a fight for Diaz. Lastly, we will look at what Henry Cejudo has to say about Israel Adesanya. Henry Cejudo said he expects a better performance from Adesanya. He stated, "It was it's crazy when you come out to freaking to Dong the Undertaker and you you didn't put up you, you didn't put a performance man on uh, on on Saturday night. It was it was lame, dude. They you got to start giving main events are special, dude. If he's not performing, UFC stop pushing this dude. He's he's a decision maker. He hypes a lot and he doesn't deliver. He talks a lot and he doesn't deliver. It, it's it's been like that with him for a minute now. And I think if you're gonna if you're gonna call people out and do all this other stuff, it's like finish him. Put put a beating on people. Be a spectacular. Like, you know, people people look for more to his entrance than his actual fight, and that's a problem. Because what you do want to be good at is when you fight. Israel Adesanya is expected to face Alex Pereira next. Pereira has already defeated Adesanya twice in kickboxing, won by knockout, which makes their battle one of the more highly anticipated title bouts in Adesanya's career. But considering both fighters come from a kickboxing background. Cejudo gives Pereira the edge. I think, I think Alex Pereira can really, because both these dudes are just strikers with semi-good defense. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to have to go with uh, Pereira because Israel doesn't, he never demonstrates any type of takedowns and things like that. He's, he's another one-dimensional guy that's good at what he does. And it's a shame that these dudes at 185 pounds can't take the fight where Jan has taken him. He's taking it in deep waters and it's over. And that's a wrap. Do you think Israel Adesanya is being pushed too much? 
What about Islam Makachev versus Michael Chandler? Will that ever happen? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.